We are going to look at New Jersey. Oh, my goodness. Uh, New Jersey. Okay. Um, DeWard, do me a favor and um, give me a little bit of details. I need to get some more info on this. I want you to um, let me know the timeline. Uh, give me the condition, timeline, motivation, price as I'm pulling this up. Just put it in the comments so that we can get a better idea of what is going on. Here we go. Now remember, we are in here at ttpdata.com. We've got this pulled up. I've got this here, ttpdata.com, powered by PropStream. Um, if you're serious about the, being a real estate investor, you need this tool. I mean, everybody uses it that's, that's uh, doing a lot of business because it makes it so much easier to understand if this is a deal or not a deal. So um, let's check this one out. All right, so first off, what I always like to do with any property is I like to look at the aerial. I want to get a kind of an idea of what's going on. I want to see, is this a traditional lot or is it kind of a crazy lot? Does it back to the freeway? Does it back to commercial? Does it back to anything crazy? No, this is a traditional property in the middle of a neighborhood, which I love. Now I'm going to do a little bit of investigating on the outside of the property. Okay, we got a brick property here. It looks like it's... Um, it definitely needs some love. Um, it looks like it's just dated. It's an older property. It looks like the windows may or may not have been replaced. Um, I'm going to look at that. I'm going to assume that they have with those latches right there. You can see those are brand new, more modern latches. So the windows have been done, which is very interesting. I'm wondering to myself, looking at this property, oh, interesting. The roof doesn't look like it's necessarily been done. Looks like it's pretty, you know, at least 10, 15 years. Uh, there's a little bit of, um, you know, wear and tear here in the gutter, but the windows are new. Interesting. Why is... Um, the seller who is attorney says my price is low, but considering it. All right, what's your price? So give us some more. Give up. Well, um, if you don't feel comfortable because you think somebody's going to try to get on it, I get it. Okay. I got enough info. Just give me the condition. So it looks like we've got a detached garage here, which is good. Now that we know that it's owned by an attorney, that's great. It looks like a smaller property. So good. Um, I'm looking, you know, from the bones, the bones look good. That's what I'm looking at. And um, it makes it easier to determine what the fix-up cost on this is. So <clears throat> here we go. So we're looking at this. We've got 1,100 square feet. It's built in 1940. This is non-owner occupied and vacant. Come on. And by the way, he's owned it for 18 years. You think he's got... Um, you think he's got some equity in there? Well, it's uh, it's showing that he's got some equity because it's showing that he doesn't owe anything on here. Here's the beautiful thing about PropStream. Look at the opportunity. Look at the estimated equity. He owns it free and clear. When you have these opportunities, um, what's the gentleman's name again? DeWard. DeWard. Um, you can do seller financing. You can do straight cash offer. There's a lot that you can do here because he owns it. He could be the bank on this very easily. You don't have to mess around with absorbing anybody's uh, loan on it. So uh, I'm going to just make sure that it's on there. Yeah, it looks like this was uh, 59000 He must have probably paid it off. I would verify if he owns anything on that, and that'll open up you know, some of the different strategies that you can use for this deal. Um, good. Okay, I am going to go to the comps now. The inside needs a full rehab. Inside needs a full rehab. Fantastic. So 1,100 square feet. Now, guys, if you want, and I don't know if I've mentioned this, there's, um, there's a great video. What's the title of it all, 100? The one with the, uh, the breakdown of the, the costs. That um, there's a great video on figuring out the a, the fix-up cost estimated fix-up cost. We doodled it out here. Um, we'll do a whole show on it, but uh, we've got a good YouTube video on estimating the cost. So uh, if it's if it's a needs work, I'm going to go with 25k for the rehab, and I'm going to show you why that's important. It's a TikTok video. It's a TikTok and it's a and it's a YouTube. But um, if you're not following us on TikTok, well then. It's on there too. Uh, there you go. So what I'm doing, oh, here we go. I'm going for, <laughs> this thing's crazy. I'm going to go both right here for the public records and MLS. All right, now look at all these comps going on. It's very interesting. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten this timeline. I want to see what's going on in the last three months. So December, January, February, March. So we'll start, well, let's just start this year. Let's go to the 17th of January. All right. Uh, no, I'm going to go back one. I'm going to go to December. 
17th. Uh, December to January, January to February, February to March. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, so there's the last three months. We've got some interesting comps here. Okay. I want to go sold, but also I want to see what's going on. I want to see what's going on with the pendings and the contingents and see what's going on. Just make sure that if any, see these pendings, this is what now we're getting into it. Now we're getting into it. Look at these pendings. These pendings are showing at 169 while some of these solds are at 59 and 75 and 29. So I understand why you're having some issues here uh, figuring out what the, what the proper value is here because right here you can see um, the first one here pending. Look at this. This is beautiful. Let's make sure it's the same. Uh, look at this. Oh, you make it too easy on me. I love you. Thank you for sending that. You made it too easy. Because right here, look at this, you see what I'm seeing, right, Mike? Right there, across the street, right down the road, is a comp. What am I looking at? Well, we've got bigger square foot, we've got a bigger lot. This one was built in 1930, excellent. But I'm seeing 170 here, pending on the MLS, at Chew's Landing. Now let's see what's going on with this. Uh, image is coming soon okay anytime guys if you're using prop stream and it's not giving you the image just simply copy and paste the um the address and look it up on zillow all right search in zillow uh search on um there we go let's see if uh realtor has some pictures there we go look at this beautiful look at that look at this beautiful house it's fantastic and it went under contract in six days it's clean it's done it's looking fantastic uh look at this last sold for 105 in 2013. they went in they cleaned it up and they're going to get a nice 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 return on this all right now the cabinets are wacky i don't know what's going on there is that metal cabinets i don't know they got a drop ceiling in the kitchen so this place isn't completely renovated so i'm confident that uh in seven days they've got let's see it's a three two do we know the bedrooms and bathrooms on on the property that we have um, cause I don't think it has it here. So I would look and see what the bedrooms and baths. Now, um, if it's a three, two, then we can go with that 170, maybe even push it a little bit. Um, and then number two here is interesting because it's a two, one. If you're working with a two, one, this one looks like it's more like a townhouse though. Um, here on the details, the Lincoln allow, let's open this thing up. Um, Let's look at this property. Let's see if the pictures will pop up for us. I don't know. I think that our internet, I honestly don't think it's a prop stream thing. I think it's, there's just, we're just juicing up way too much internet with these super um, cameras. Anyway, um, this one is, is it a single family? Let's look at the details here. 1.5 bath. All right, here's the deal. If you can get that thing to two bathrooms, you're at 170, all right? That's gonna cost you probably to make a half bathroom into a full bathroom. It's gonna probably cost you an additional 7,000. So I'm gonna put our rehab at 32,000, all right? If not, you're gonna be stuck in that 150 range, all right? So let's look at this in both ways. Let's look at it if you get 170 for this or if you get 150 for this, okay? Um, so we've got, if we go, um, 150, 150 ARV, ARV. Now it just depends. I'm going to do this assuming that you're going to go, somebody's going to go in there, they're going to renovate it. Let's go to this camera. Yeah, we can't. Oh, okay, good. Well, then we'll just do this. If we can't renovate it, then, I mean, if we can't, uh, we're, we're, we're going to assume we're going to renovate this for a fix and flip. So I'm going to give you the lowest price, and then you can always change it if you feel like this is going to be a good rental property. You can start messing with the price and uh, increasing it. But first, right off the bat, I'm going to take off. I'm going to times this by 0.94. Okay, Mike, do you have my calculator? Yep, 141000 Okay, so 141,000. I'm going to then subtract a minimum. Remember, investors want to make a minimum of 10% of the ARV or a minimum of $20,000 if they're going to put in, take the risk, buy the property, fix it up. Okay, so now we're at 20,000. Boom. We got that. I took out, by the way, I took out the 6% that covers the closing cost and the sales fees for when they resell the property. All right. 
So I'm taking off that 6% there. Uh, that's just the average. Don't get too technical with it. It's 6%. Typically, it's just going to cover enough. I got nine grand built in there for title and escrow fees and uh, sales fees. Okay. So then we're at 121. And let's subtract the 25,000 from this. And uh, we're going to subtract 25,000. And this is your repair budget. Repair. Okay. That's how much it's going to cost to fix this up if we're not adding a bathroom. All right. So then that puts us at, uh, what is that, 96,000? Yep. 96,000. That's what you should be able to sell that deal for. So then you want to be at 86,000 or lower. I like making at least, I, I want you to shoot for at least uh, $10,000. Uh, I'd be real interested to uh, know how much you uh, offered him um, and what he thought was uh, a low, too low. Now let's look at that same deal because I think that there's potential. Let's look at that same deal at 170,000 if you can get a second bath in. Okay, now, interesting thing, make sure that you look at this comp that went for 170. I'm gonna take a look at this real quick if we'll switch over here, Matt. I just wanna, just wanna, wanna see, see if, if this th thing had a, um, you know, where is that at? It's right here. Um, I wanted to see if this had uh, covered parking because ours has covered parking, but I would honestly say that the appearance of this property looks better than our property. So this is going to pop a little bit more. It's built 10 years earlier. It's got a little bit more charm to it. Um, let me see if I can find out if there is parking. doesn't look like there's any parking. That's a big advantage for us. Okay, so we've got some parking. We might be able to push this thing to 175 fixed up. Well, it might. Let me see. Let me see. Let's look, come on Street View. Well, that doesn't want to do it. Um, I can't tell if that's got parking or not. If it does, keep it at 170. If it doesn't, um, let's keep that at, uh, let's bump that up to 175, 180. Uh, let me just see, just real quick. Um, no, it's just a shed. So they got a shed, well, people like sheds. And it's a garage, okay, good, so it's the same, 170. All right, you can use that as a garage. Uh, 170, and then we're gonna times that by 0.94, Mike. Uh, 94 is 9,800, okay. We're going to um, subtract the 20,000 for the minimum profit. Pro profit, jeez Louise, My minimum profit. We're gonna subtract the 32,000. We're gonna add 7,000 to the budget to make that half bath into a full bath. And Mike, what is our grand total here? 1078. 1078. See, so now we've got a range, right? We've got a range between 96,000 and 107 or 108. So that's where you would be um, if, it's, if it's this, if, if he's looking closer to this, which it sounds like um, he is or more, then um, uh, you, you would just have to have that conversation with your cash buyer on what the potential is for that deal if they just add a half bath. The savvy ones in the market know um, the potential. So and that one hundred seven eight is what he would sell it to a cash buyer for. So he'd have to get it. He'd have to get under. That. This is the wholesale price. You would want to be at like 97K on this or whatever. All right. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Good. So there you go. Um, and, and, and by the way, you might be able to push it a little bit more because you've got a bigger lot. Um, but this one's real charming, and I just want to stay with the properties that are sold. So um, there you go. I hope that helps out. Rock and roll with it um, and get that deal locked up. Very good. Yeah, it's interesting. New Jersey has like so many diverse markets. It's like they're either like $2 million homes or like 150. It's bananas. But uh, yeah, New Jersey's a fantastic. Actually, this is a charming house. This could be a really, really nice charming house. Let me get over to the front of it, just see uh, what that looks like. Anyway, you guys get the point. That's what I would do. That's what I would lock it up at. Got it? If you like this video, smash that subscribe button because we put out new videos every single day. And if you have a question that you want me to answer personally, join us live every Wednesday.